Good evening everybody and welcome to race two from round one of the Four Dice BMW M3 E30 League here at the Nürburgring as part of Next Gen Racing's Season 20. Race two in this series comes from a reverse grid that was formed in the first race. I'm Jack TM53, your commentator, and I'll be guiding you through the action over 20 minutes of what will be chaotic and what will no doubt be some very interesting racing that's going to up, well, going to form the base of this second race. It's a chance for drivers to make up positions and chances for opportunists to potentially take a race victory in only what is the second race of round one. Now, a couple of little different points to make on round two in terms of the cars. They are exactly the same, but the tyres that they're on are actually different to what they would have raced in race one. In race one, the M3s use the racing hard tyre. In race two, they use the racing medium. So the car's a little bit more grip, a little bit, bit more punchier out of the corners, but the natural assumption with that is the car will likely slide a little bit more if you lean on the medium tyre a bit more than what you can on the hards. Now, in terms of the grid from the last race that we'd done, uh, earlier on on Monday night of course, Tim78 finished in last place, so he starts in P1, which is the first time in sub time that Tim's been on pole position. Doves is second, Danzo lines up third, get the right camera angle, it'd be fantastic. Fourth is Joey Dunlop. 5th Next Gen Big C, 6th 1805, Traumatic Dave is 7th, Mehanesta 98 is 8th, Bruce Lee Harden is 9th, 4th Fish 10th, Rally Matt 11th, Adam ID 12th and Next Gen Les, race winner from race number 1, lines up 13th at the back. There's one car missing from what occurred in the first race, trying to determine who exactly it was but unfortunately can't quite figure it out from the race results so let's get this underway Tim on the right hand side then in that green and blue car doves in a more green with a black bonnet martini colors on there let's see how this one turns out lights are coming up shortly there's the first one Race two is underway at the Nürburgring. It's a fantastic start from Doves 1971. He takes the lead. Danzo's in second. Tim already dropping down to fourth at the moment. He's going to be crowded out going into turn one. Danzo's looking up the inside of Doves. Breaks a little bit earlier. Joey Dunlop now trying to go around the outside. He's moved himself up into second place. Further down in the field, Big Z's in fourth, 18.056. Mehanesta battling in sixth. He's up the inside of 18.05. Good move from him. He's moved through the field already quite nicely for him. Bruce Lee Harden up the inside of 18.05. He's up to seventh, is he? It's going to be very close. He is. Through he goes into seventh place then. Good start for Bruce. He's made up a few places. 18.05, there's Rally Matt up to tenth. Four fishes in 11th currently, Les 12th, Tim down in 13th, so our pole sitter not getting away well. Doves meanwhile, the cork in the bottle at the moment, he's doing fantastically well, but Joey Dunlop round the outside at turn 6, what a fantastic move from the WD40 effectively liveried car, fantastic overtake from him, he leads the way, Doves now having to defend from Danzo, he's trying to go around the outside, sideways is Danzo in that black liveried car, Big Z, Traumatic Dave already leaning on each other as they come out of turn one, you can see there's an absolute host of cars, Dave trying to make it free wide, probably not going to work through the Schumacher S, Big Z's got Bruce Lee and Mehanesta right behind him, Rally Matt had a fantastic run through the sequence, he's choosing his place to go behind Bruce Lee. Doves has been shuffled down to fifth. He's back up the inside of Doves. He's up to third again. Bit of a contact from Rally Matt and Mehanesta goes through, through as well. All sorts of shenanigans kicking off as well. as with, Oh, this contact. Doves is round. Bruce Lee Harden's round. He's backwards. He's off the circuit. There's cars all over the place. Rally Matt's in the gravel trap as well. Tim avoids it. Rally Matt's round into the wall. Four fish has gone off as well. It's all gone wrong for the BMWs in race two. Bruce Lee, Rally Matt, four fish, all went off, it all kicked off, Doves had a little bit of sideways moment, always oh, not exactly certain what's happened to Doves there in, in the chicane, but Doves went sideways from contact, Rally Matt a little bump into the back of Bruce Lee Harden and then it just sort of snowballed from there, unfortunately for the drivers, so 
contact and chaos in the opening lap but next gen danzo is the man who leads after a wonderful overtake round turn six he's got a nice little buffer to mehanesta who is in second place and again proving he can overtake cars mehanesta he started in eighth place in this race he saw in the last one as well that he was turned around on lap one he went from 14th came back to back the order to finish sixth and he's already putting the pressure on danzo Opportunity knocks for the American driver. Traumatic Dave, good good opening lap from him. He's up in third. He'll be quite pleased with that. 1805 fourth, Adam ID. Joey Dunlop and Les all on the back of 1805. And Adam ID, don't forget, he finished second in that opening race. You can see Joey Dunlop trying to go up the inside. He's on the grass. He's on the curb. He's got to be careful not to hit Les. Les on the inside. Monitors it well. And through goes Les. Joey not quite close enough to make any form of impression on the race one winner. Tim's in eighth, make that ninth, just as I say that. Just been overtaken by Big Z. He's just trying to learn the game still is Tim. Absolutely understandable from the Castrol backed man. Four fish is tenth there, Bruce Lee, and eleventh from Fort Seas, just up the inside of Rally Matt. He's got a lot of damage on the back of his car as Rally Matt. You can see where the impact's been made. And Doves all the way down in thirteenth at the moment. So our front two on the row at the start of this race already down the field but Danzo under pressure from Mehanesta Whoa, that's a big drift from Danzo and Mehanesta has already cleared Danzo what a move through turn 11 and 12 the complex Mehanesta leads the way after starting in 8th place 7 overtakes in the space of a 1.5 laps what a great start for him Danzo I don't think is close enough but it's going to be interesting to see the two hosts now in 2nd and 3rd place whether they can hold off Adam ID and Next Gen Les. They've both moved through the field very effectively. In fourth and fifth, Les on the back of Adam ID. He's got a good run. Look at the inside of the final corner. Bit of contact. Adam sort of shut the door on him. He was there, Les. He had the right to be there. Adam's on the in outside as we look at it. The number nine, you could just see the, the door handle of Adam. You can just see his wing mirror now just sort of clipping the front of the car as they come towards turn one for the third time on the brakes, I'm assuming. Les will break a touch later, which he does. Gives Adam enough room, but gets the move completed. So next gen Les up to fourth. It's got Dave now in front of him to try and contend with. 18.05 in sixth, he's got Joey Dunlop hurrying him and hassling him all over the circuit at the moment there's a bit of a lock up from 1805 as he went into turn 3 I thought Jerry Dunlop was going to clip the rear of the car, there's Big Z he's in 8th place had a relatively innocuous star as Big Z but he's still there, thereabouts doing ok, 4 fish is ninth after his adventures into the gravel trap earlier on, Tim's in 10th but he's slowing down, letting the drivers through he wants to run at his own pace Rally Matt and Bruce Lee will happily take free positions from Tim when he offers them. So Rally Matt moves to 10th, Bruce Lee moves to 11th. Back at the front in terms of the fight for third, Jurassic Dave. How sideways do you want to go into the hairpin? He's right on the kerb. Lairs already alongside him and he's going to have the momentum into the Schumacher S, I believe. Can he give it enough he just gives enough space for Dave Dave on the curb now that's going to cost him a little bit of momentum and here comes Adam ID so two places drop for traumatic Dave potentially as they come into the complex oh they're leaning on one another Adam ID probably wouldn't have been too pleased Adam by that there's there's enough room for both cars to get through the corner there but Adam has held on he didn't go round which is the good thing so he's in fourth, there's Dave in fifth, 18.05, sixth. He's still got Joey Dunlop behind him, but a little bit of a gap has opened up between the two now. So positive progress for those guys. There's Big Z, he's got four fish behind him as well. Obviously four fish affected in that incident, but he's not affected with that exit. Good move up the inside potentially from four fish. How close was he to clipping the inside of the pit lane? Or the outside. Four fish though should have this move completed. Another car's just picked up a penalty further up the field. They're side by side are Big Z and Four Fish coming towards turn number one for the fourth time of asking. Seven minutes already gone in this session. Ooh, they lean on one another. But Four Fish gets the move done. And up to eighth he goes. Joey's in seventh still. 1805. There's that's Les going round the outside of Danzo. So Danzo's been relegated pretty swiftly from second to fourth. 
Les and Adam ID carving through the field, but the man they've got to try and catch is Mehanesta. Now, at the moment, Mehanesta driving quite well. There's about three seconds, maybe even four, between himself and Les. And Mehanesta's setting some good times. He's very, very competitive in race one when he was coming back through the field. So, this isn't going to be easy for Les and Adam. Will they work together to try and get onto the back of Mehanesta? It's going to be interesting to find out. Danzo now battling with his co-host, Traumatic Dave. Dave's up the inside as they come out of the hairpin. He's going to be outside for Schumacher S. We'll ride on board with 1805 as we come into this complex. Danzo breaks a little bit, a bit not to make contact. That's going to allow 1805 to switch back both ways through the chicane. I've never seen that before. Might be an opportunity round the outside for 1805 on the brakes. Potentially not quite. Danzo runs a bit deeper. Where's Joey Dunlop? He's a bit further back in all of this. 1805. It's a nice exit from him coming out of the right-hander onto the back straight now. Pulling in that slipstream. He's going to catch Danzo at the right time. So will he go left or right? He goes to the right. A little bit of lag from Danzo, but not to worry. On the brakes he goes. He brakes later than Danzo, but Danzo covers the inside well. Does very well in his defensive drive and the Danzo there. Just blocked any form of momentum 18.05 would have made out of the chicane there. So 18.05 and Danzo still holding the same position. They've got Dave not too far ahead. Joey Dunlop will have noticed a little bit of battling going on. He'll want to get involved in that if he can. And Fourfish naturally trying to make up as many positions as he can now. You see Danzo's having to defend for fifth place. 1805 breaks later into turn one, locks the rear tyres. I tell you what, this is a fantastic move. 1805 round the outside of turn one, as clean as you like. What a fantastic move. Absolutely brilliant. 1805 then moves into fifth place. He's defending from Danzo still, but should be relatively straightforward coming out of the Mercedes arena. And he does hold off Danzo. F fabulous overtake from 1805. Really was terrific. Joey Dunlop and Fourfish have now joined in that fun note. Ooh, Joey Dunlop just clipping the grass as they came through turn five. It's going to allow Fourfish the exit out of turn six on the inside as they come towards turn number seven at the hairpin. Joey trying to just push Fourfish out wide and he's left the door open though. Unfortunately for him, it's going to allow Fourfish surely to clear him. He's squeezing as much as he can. The rubber wants one another. Fourfish should just about have it covered, which he does. He gets into seventh place. Had to work for it, but he's through up to seventh. Look at Big C now, trying to go around the outside. He's on the grass almost. Wow. Fantastic again from Big Z. He's just put his car in the right place. A little bit of contact, though. He might pick up a penalty for that, which is unfortunately very harsh. If he does pick it up, and he has done, sadly, it was a, it was a perfectly okay move from Big Z. He just tried to avoid Joey after the contact. You can see as well, a little bit further up, Danzo right in the slipstream on 18.05. Joey defending a little bit to the inside, not really allowing much room for Big Z to go anywhere near. And an overtake, that's 18.05 round. That's a bad place to spin around for 18.05. Oh, he's collected Bruce Lee in the midst of all that. Got to keep an eye on your radar on that one, 1805. Got to keep an eye on the radar. Bruce Lee, probably still grumpy from that. Bigsy's dropped down to knife. I'm not sure what's happened to him. There's Rally Matt on the back now of Joey Dunlop and Fourfish, equally so, looking at a move at Danzo, but that hasn't quite paid off. He's going to try and... Well, it... Well... Fourfish tried to cut the corner and GT Sport said no. So he's dropped behind Bruce Lee Harden now. I think he just completely misjudged the corner, did Fourfish. That was a very bizarre incident. 1805 now recovering from that spin that he had after such a great move, the lap earlier on in the lap. And Doves in 12, Tim's obviously retired at this point. And Tim obviously took it to the pits, had a few issues. But Dove still ongoing, keeping his pace up to 16. That's his best lap I've seen from Dove, so he's improving during this race. It's really good to see. Mehanesta still leads the way. A 2 minute 10 last lap. That was a very positive time from him. Adam ID is up to second, so he's got past Les in recent times. It must have been on that last lap. While we were watching the 
fabulous fight for fifth place. A bunch of drivers were involved in that from Danzo 2, obviously, 89.5 until he spun off. But Les down in third. But these guys are not making any inroads onto Mahenester at the moment. You look at the gap between them, there's about three and a half seconds, maybe even for them. Ma Mahenesta driving quicker than the two. Could we see a deb could we see a first win for Mahenesta? That'd be that'd be absolutely special if he could. Traumatic Dave, he's still in fourth place. He's trundling along quite nicely, actually. Danzo's in fifth. He's got a bit of a gap back to Rally Matt, the recovering Rally Matt, who went around a, the gravel trap at turn 11 earlier on. He's now in sixth place, so I'm imagining with those times, he's going to be right on the back of Danzo within a lap. Joey Dunlop's in seventh. There's Big Z in eighth place. Four Fish in ninth. Bruce Lee has been re-overtaken by Four Fish. So someone to work with hopefully for Bruce to try and get himself back near the midfield if they can 1805 going a bit wide coming out of the final corner so in the fight for what will be fifth place because there's a bit of a gap between Les and Adam and Mechanesta at the moment of the front three Rally Matt scything his way back through the field and you can see the gap now has diminished to virtually nothing between the two Rally Matt trying to take a tighter line. Danzo sideways coming out of turn two. Rally Matt on the outside for turn three. Danzo again chucks the car in. It's an effective blocking strategy, but the problem is he's going to have issues with his with that form of exit. Here comes Rally Matt. He just took <laughs> his action, took the words out of me. Did Danzo then? Rally Matt's going to be on the outside for turn number five. He's going round the outside. He's going to have the inside for turn six. Wonderful overtake from Rally Matt. That was absolutely superb. Rally Matt then up to fifth place. His recovery going very well, it has to be said, despite the turn one in rather lap one incident. Joey Dunlop's now been joined by four fish. Bruce Lee's not too far away from them either. Bruce Lee has a, a penalty to deal with. But what can they do? Can they make any inroads? These two that both went off on lap one, can they do anything to get back potentially in the fight for sixth place at all? It's going to be interesting to see with five minutes to go. Very, very poised for an interesting finish is this race. We can see Joey Dunlop and Four Fish fighting hard at the moment. Coming onto the back straight, Four Fish has lined it up quite nicely in terms of his exit. Runs over that exit curve just a little bit better than Joey. It's going to catch him potentially in the right place as they come towards the chicane now for the seventh time of asking. Four Fish on the inside, you'd expect him to break later. And he does, and through he goes. Oh, he's gone a bit deep. That's going to cause him a, a penalty. Is he going to drop back, let Joey through? He does. And Bruce is going to go through too. He can't shut the door on Bruce, can Four Fish? Little bit of ghosting, leaning on one another. Joey watching this behind him, probably thinking, where can I defend at this moment in time? It's going to be absolutely impossible to defend from two cars at once, but he's going to give it his best. Bruce Lee now has the slipstream as they come towards turn one for lap eight. Can he make a move? Bruce is leaning, not quite an opportunity. Here comes Four Fish up the inside of Joey. They give each other room. Four Fish got to be careful. Nature, all oh, bit of contact as they both come back towards the same line. Four fish holds on, but he gets through past Joey Dunlop. He's got to watch out because Bruce Lee is on his inside, but he doesn't make the move. Now he does. Bruce Lee up the inside. He's got a little bit sideways on the exit curb. Four fish, well, just sort of leans on Bruce and pushes him out of the way. Bit of bashing between the two. That's not really what you want to see in the M3 League at all. But Four fish is through. Joey Dunlop is now in ninth place after all that. And Big Z down to tenth place got to be careful of that does Big Z doesn't want to make any more mistakes but running in the top 10 still after all of what's been occurring Mehanesta though leading still at the moment it's not he's been caught on the last lap by a, a, a second so the gap is definitely coming down and Mehanesta has not cleared his penalties this is something that Mehanesta needs to try and get rid of he doesn't want to keep those penalties for any longer than he needs to 1.6 will scale up to two and the gap between them is about two and a half. So, Mehanesta, three minutes to go, which is equivalent of two laps. Can he hold on from Les, who's got past Adam? So, Les and Adam 
they can both see Mahanesta within striking range at this point. They both know that they can win this race because of the penalties. Adam now looking to try and go around the outside of Les at the final corner. Can he get the car turned in, do a switchback? He can't, but he has got a good run. Coming out of that final corner, he's right in the slipstream. You can see the detailing on Les's BMW in front of us. It's that close now. He's going to move to the outside, is Adam. We've got a back marker in Doves ahead of us. On the brakes, Adam goes a little bit later. He's going to be on the outside. Switches it back for the first corner. Les goes wide. But Adam's not close enough to make an advantage of it. Now he tries to get an exit out of turn two. Is he going to be close enough for a little move at turn three? He's not. So they stay in second and third. Dave's still fourth. Riley Matt flying now. He's got this lap and the next to catch Traumatic Dave going to be very close between the two. Danzo still in sixth. Bruce Lee Harden and Four Fish are having a nice fight between the two of them would be the best way of saying it. A bit further forward you can see I'm watching this fight because Les now has a one second penalty and in front of them Mehanesta has just got past Doves. I was watching what Doves does into the next corner that's a bit of a tongue twister Doves does. But Les defends on the inside. Big slide into, into turn seven from Les there. But Adam's got the momentum as he comes out the corner. Can he go around the outside at the Schumacher S? We've seen it in race one. They're going to try it side by side through the Schumacher S. No contact between the two. Lovely racing between the two. Really well respectful. He's going to be on the outside as Adam. Can he break later at the marker board? He can't. Les swings back up the inside, but he goes too deep. Now, can he switch it back, Adam, and get his nice line ready for the back straight? Cleanly done. Les was obviously trying to deal with that back marker. Now, that's going to be an awkward position for the two cars. Where will Doves go? It's going to be quite awkward for him just going to move to the inside as Doves that's an awkward position for the drivers to be in Les gets past Doves just moves out the way it was effective but it was a bit dodgy in terms of the driver's reactions probably wouldn't know where he wants to go but it was effective he got out of the way but nevertheless Les and Adam still second and third they are going to have one more lap can Mehanesta hold on with his 1.6 second gap penalty. Dave has made it to the line, as has Matt, unfortunately for him. So Rally Matt on the inside as they come towards turn one. Bit of a weird lag there, but Rally Matt gets up the inside and overtakes Traumatic Dave. Danzo has seen the checkered flag, as has Four Fish in seventh, Joey Dunlop eighth, Bruce Lee ninth, Big C tenth, 1805 eleventh, and Doves still needs to do another lap. Mehanesta though, leading the way in first. Les and Adam still fighting absolutely tooth and nail. This is absolutely going to the wire on this final lap. This is a three-way fight for first, despite there being a gap on track. Because of that penalty, it's now 2.6 for Mehanesta. Good lord, is this how wow this is going to be absolutely fantastic in the final in this final lap. There's about a minute and so to go, folks. This is going to be unbelievable. Adam trying to go around the outside. Les breaks on the inside, defends his line. Adam looks for a switch back. They're going to cost each other time fighting. It might just give Mehanesta the chance to take that first win. Les with a 0.7 second penalty so he's going to lose a position but he wants to try and take advantage of Mehanesta now Adam's going to try and go around the outside as they come towards the complex for the final time breaks later does Les keeps hold of the position Rally Matt's in fourth traumatic days fifth we're not messing about there anymore oh Les hasn't timed it well he uses this the ghost ineffectively and Adam goes through him it's Adam up to second Les in third, he'll be a bit annoyed at that because he probably wouldn't have calculated for the ghosting. What is the gap between the two cars? mehanesta has got the gap down to 1.9 in terms of his penalty. This is going to be so close. It's really tight between the front three. Mehanesta is going to cross the line provisionally. Will he take the victory though? There goes Mehanesta across the line. Does he take the race victory on the penalties? He does! Mehanesta wins! Race two with round one. Adam ID takes second. He fought valiantly. But second it is again. Les third, Rally Matt fourth, and Traumatic Dave finishes off the top five. But Mehanesta 
takes his first victory in only his second race in the next gen group for the M3s. A wonderful performance for him. Got away at the right time. Did himself proud and the fighting behind him helped him. Adam ID taking second for the second race in a row. And Les finishing in third. Great comeback from Rallying Bat in fourth. Really was a top performance from him. And Dramatic Dave with a fifth place. It's a good, strong performance for Dave too. In terms of the championship standings for the BMW M3 League, currently you can't see them on screen, of course. Next Gen Les leads the championship standings currently on 36 points. Adam ID is tied with on 36 points. I should make a note to say that Next Gen Les has a pole position point, so he's actually on 37. In third, currently at the provisional moment in time, is Mahanesta. Fourth will be Rally Maths. And fifth, we will soon find out. There are still some provisional checks being done in terms of incidents during the race, but you will get to find out the championship standings before race or rather round two next week, which I'll be commentating on hopefully live for that event, which would be fantastic um, if we can do that. In terms of where you can get involved, you can go onto Facebook, of course, and get yourself into the next gen group. Really good leagues to get involved with, not just on GT Sport, but across the board as well, in terms of Assetto Corsa, Competizione, you have PC Racing as well, Formula One 2020 on PS4 and PS5, of course, and a few other matters as well. But that's it for round one of the BMW M3 E30 League, the Four Dice League, of course. We'll be back next week for round two, which will be featuring at Dragon Trail Seaside, the fictional Croatian circuit. That'll be very interesting to see how the M3s go around the chicane of death, as it is dubbed amongst the GT Sport community. But for the time being today, thank you very much for tuning in. I much appreciate it. And wherever you might be in the big wide world, have a good one. See you soon.